the admin panel is where you'll get most things done in Xeon. So let's take a look at the most important pages for fighting fraud. Let's start with transactions. This page lists every user action or event which you've sent for Xeon's fraud API to analyze. The list shows some key details about each transaction, including its fraud score and state. And you can edit what information is displayed by clicking on the setting cog on the right. You can dive a level deeper into certain transactions to review suspicious activity. The monitoring page is the heart of your anti-money laundering efforts. Head here to review AML checks and enable automatic AML monitoring. Manual lookups let you check any details that your API integration hasn't sent Seon's way. Simply enter the details you want to check and review the results. You can use the Transactions tab to check multiple data points all at once. The manual checks you run in this way will also automatically appear in the Transactions list as well. Now, the scoring engine is super important. It's basically the brain behind Seon. Seon uses rules to decide whether a transaction is suspicious or not, but the brain deserves its own episode, so we'll cover it in a dedicated episode on rules. Fraud fighters will also use lists in their day-to-day. -day. This is where you can review what data has been added to a white or black list. Basically, data on the white list will always be approved while anything on the black list gets axed. Don't forget, lists override fraud scores and rules. You can also set up custom lists to group transactions in any way you like. Thank you for watching. Remember, we cover many elements of Seon in the knowledge. So take a look around at our other episodes. And if you want to read up on anything we talked about, head to docs.seon.io.